a social security increase, and stimulus checks. Do they have the same effect and what is the impact? That's a great question and exactly what I want to talk about right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now this is a question that was recently brought to my attention in regards to a social security increase and stimulus checks. Do they really have the same effect and is one better than the other? That's a great question and what I want to talk about here in this video a little bit further because one is certainly very different than the other and there are key differences between the two. Let's get into it and talk about everything you need to know. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day doing all the necessary research and watching all this new information, hitting the wire, breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on and most importantly, how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and ultimately anything out there right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of, including money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, stimulus, programs, or anything else like that. Of course, I want to bring it to your attention right away. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll continue to be here for you every single day as that's my dedication and I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about the differences between Social Security increases and stimulus checks. Are they really the same thing? Now, this is something that was interestingly brought up to my attention recently. And I do want to talk about it here because this is actually a very interesting point. Now, recently we got the announcement out of the Social Security Administration in regards to the annual cost of living adjustment that will be going into effect as of January 2023. Now, I recently had somebody reach out and say, is this raise going to add more inflation into the system? That's a really good question. So I've ran some numbers on this to give us better perspective on what stimulus checks actually cost and what the raise to Social Security will also cost as far as real dollars going out the door to millions of Americans. Now, here's what's interesting. The last $1,400 stimulus check that we received back in early 2021 cost just under $400 billion, right? It was about $380 billion is what that cost. And it went to about 85% of the population. One thousand four hundred dollars went out to about 290 million Americans right again just under 400 billion dollars and it went out to 85 percent of the population so Many people are saying that this caused inflation. Well, again, we can talk about all of that in a separate video. Maybe it caused a little bit of inflation, but realistically, over the last couple of years here, they printed and sent out about $6 trillion. And in all, stimulus checks, the three stimulus checks that we received, uh, cost in, in total about $850 billion. So again, it's a small fraction of how much money actually went out the door, the stimulus check. So again, we can talk about the whole stimulus check thing and inflation in a separate video, but realistically, it's only a small fraction of what it really comes down to as far as total dollars printed and went out the door as a result of the stimulus checks. However, I do now quickly want to talk about the Social Security raise that will be going into effect as of January 2023. And will this really have inflationary impacts in the United States as a result of this extra money going out. Now, here's what it comes down to. Again, I've ran some numbers on this because I want to give you a better perspective on what this really looks like going forward. So as we know, there's going to be an 8.7% increase to monthly benefits for about 70 million beneficiaries who do receive all of these benefits. Now, again, across the board, virtually every beneficiary is going to get a different amount. However, to be totally fair, since there are 70 million beneficiaries, obviously by default, there will be some people getting the same same amount, but virtually everybody's going to get a different amount because everybody's benefit is different for the most part. And calculating an 8.7% raise to that benefit is going to calculate a different raise for virtually everybody. However, I'm using some round numbers here. So the average social security retiree is going to get about $144 every single month. So I'm gonna use that round $144 as kind of a baseline to calculate from to see how much this is going to cost on a monthly basis. Now, don't get me wrong. SSI beneficiaries, even for the maximum, will only be getting $73 more even for the maximum on SSI, okay? And then obviously SSDI beneficiaries will be getting about on average $118 more every single month. But again, I wanna use that round number of $144 as just the baseline to calculate from. So again, this is being, you know, a little bit 
kind of on the on the high side as far as calculating but again this kind of illustrate a picture as far as far as what this raise is going to look like as far as extra money going out going out the door uh, from Social Security for all the millions of beneficiaries and will this actually cause extra inflation you're gonna see here very quickly the simple answer is no it's not going to but let me show you the numbers behind this okay now again I want to make it very clear I've talked about this before in other videos every single person is not going to get a $144 raise, okay? I talked about that before in a dedicated video and I've had uh, conversations with some of you here in the community down below in the comment section. That's not what it's gonna be. This is just averages that I'm talking about here. But let me use this as a quick example to illustrate this picture a little bit more clearly. All right, so let's just assume that every single 70 million beneficiary, all the beneficiaries are going to get a raise of $144. That's not how it's gonna shake out to be, but let's just use that as an example. So let's just say that we take $144 per month multiplied by 70 million beneficiaries every single month. That comes up to a little bit over $10 billion more every single month that will be going out the door from the Social Security Administration to all the millions of beneficiaries, okay? So it's about $10 billion more going out into the economy every single month versus what's currently going out in 2022, okay? So $10 billion, it's actually just under $10.1 billion is what it will be going out uh, every single month going out through the entire year of 2023, okay? So about $120 billion more through the course of 2023, the entire year, about $10 billion more every single month, again. So that's what it's looking like uh, as a result of the raise for Social Security beneficiaries. Now it's $10 billion across 70 million beneficiaries across the entire, entire country going to cause more inflation? That's a great question and the simple answer is, no, there's no way. There's no way that $10 billion across 70 million people is going to cause inflation. That's not really how it works. Here's why. The dollar amount going out is too small and the number of people receiving the benefits is also too small. That's why this is not going to cause inflation, okay? Now, here's the thing. I've seen some concerns out there saying, is this really going to cause some inflation? And I've also seen headlines coming out saying, this raise for Social Security is going to cause inflation. There's no possible way. Here's the thing. If we were sending out an extra, say, $5,000 every single month to every single beneficiary, then we could be having a very different uh, conversation. But being $10 billion on a monthly basis across the entire country to 70 million beneficiaries, it's not... This is not how it really works. So picture this. Picture like a slice of bread and, you know, butter or peanut butter or whatever you pick. It doesn't really matter. Basically what happens is, is picture like the entire slice of bread as the entire country. You have a little sliver of butter, for example, on say like, you know, a spreading tool, right? So as you continue to spread that butter across the entire slice of bread, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner, right? That's basically the same thing when it comes down to these payments that are going out. The more that you spread it across the country, the thinner and thinner it gets. In other words, the thinner that it gets, the less likely it's going to be to cause inflation across the entire country. It's just not gonna happen, okay? There's no way that an extra $10 billion going out the door out of Social Security for say 70 million beneficiaries is going to cause inflation. There's no possible way. Now, however, let me throw this out there. Let's just say, for example, that um, you know all of this money, the $10 billion was going to say three states, all on the West Coast. I'm just using this as an example for uh, just kind of an illustration purpose, right? So let's just say that all of this money, the $10 billion was going out to all of the beneficiaries just in three states, California, Washington, and Oregon, just along the West Coast, right? Then would that cause inflation? Well, then you could possibly see isolated inflation across just the West Coast. But is that going to be happening? <laughs> no, that's not how it works, right? All the beneficiaries of these benefits are spread out across the entire United States, right? Right? So there are beneficiaries all across every single state. So my point is dropping a little bit of money every single month into the pockets of the beneficiaries spread out literally across the entire country is not going to have any impact on inflation. There's no way. Here's the thing. The federal government spends way more than $10 billion every single month. And does that cause inflation? 
No, right? $10 billion is nothing compared to uh, what we've seen previously going out. Now, another thing too, here's why we may have seen a little bit of inflation because of stimulus checks over the last couple of years here. Because all of a sudden, at the same time, the federal government drops, say, $380 billion into the pockets of the consumer, as in the American people, across the entire country, encompassing almost everybody, 85% of the population right? So that may have caused some inflation. Now, do I think it caused all the inflation? Not even close. There's no possible way. Maybe it caused a few tenths of a percent, maybe 1% of the inflation that we're dealing with right now, but we're dealing with eight, eight and a half percent inflation. So... Uh, can we really say that the stimulus checks caused all this inflation? There's no way. Not when they printed and sent out $6 trillion in money over the last couple of years here. There's no way that we can blame it all on stimulus checks. That is not the case. It only makes up a small percentage of the total money that actually went out over the last couple of years, right? The same thing goes with this raise to Social Security. The people that are going to be receiving the payments, about 14% of the population or so. Again, I could run the numbers on that. I think I'm about, you know, pretty close to accurate on that as far as about 14% of the population or so. Uh, people getting money. And again, it's not that much. Again, using this example, $144 per month on average. And that's the average. Realistically, if we ran the real numbers on this, it wouldn't even be anywhere close to 10 billion. It'd probably be more like maybe six or $7 billion is what the real numbers would be. But again, I'm using $144 as an example to show the illustration behind this. But again, I'm just using that as an example of $144 per month. But remember, 8 million SSI beneficiaries, the maximum SSI beneficiaries will get is $73 more. That's if they're receiving the maximum benefit, right? And is uh, the average uh, retiree getting, say, $1,657 per month right now? You know, that's just what they're saying the average is, okay? That's what I'm giving here as an example. So coming back to the question, will the raise for Social Security actually cause inflation in the United States? No, there's no possible way. It's just not happening, okay? There's just no possible way that it will. However, when it comes down to it, like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, is one better than, than the other? Social Security raise or stimulus checks? By all means, stimulus checks are better. And here's why. Because they're not accounted as income, they do not offset other resources, and they're not taxable. That's why stimulus checks are so incredibly powerful. However, with the Social Security raise that will be coming as of 2023, unfortunately, this will push some people into a higher tax bracket, or it will push some people into a taxable bracket now, right? So when it comes down to Social Security raise, that is counted as income. Yes, it does offset other benefits. And yes, it is taxable in some instances. So again, the raise for Social Security, don't get me wrong, it's a good thing. But at the end of the day, stimulus checks are way superior to a raise to Social Security benefits because of all the reasons I just laid out there just a second ago. So I hope this kind of gives you a better perspective on this. When it comes down to inflation, don't worry about it. This extra raise for Social Security will not have any impact on, so, uh, uh, on inflation across the country. And again, this kind of gives you a better example as, as far as why stimulus checks are way better than uh, Social Security raise just because Again, not counted as income, it's not taxable, and it does not offset other programs or resources that you may be getting, right? So very impactful. Anyway, hope this kind of gives you a better perspective and answers the questions that I've seen coming up a few times recently. And I kind of hope this gives you a better perspective on what's really going on right now as far as social security, stimulus checks, raises to benefits, and all the other things hitting the wire out there right now. So again, I'll continue watching everything very closely. As I do get more details, I'll bring it to you right here in these short videos. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a nice day. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe down below, and I'll catch you again later in the